What is going on aliens? I'm Mike Rosa and in today's video I'm gonna go over the five must knows before you get a hair transplant. Let's get into it. Like old times. Let's talk about these hair gains now, aliens. I am always so excited to make hair videos because I had the absolute best experience myself and I wish anyone who is looking to pursue a hair transplant had the same experience I did because it was truly that incredible. And we're not gonna waste any time and get right into the first must know, which you need to listen very clearly to. It's very important. It works. You can get your hair back, aliens. If you are losing your hair, a hair transplant can truly bring back that flow. Whether it's you're receding in the front or you're starting to bald on that crown, you can get all of that hair back and it can last forever. So if you have any doubts for yourself that you can get your hair back, I am walking proof that a hair transplant could be successful. Back in 2020, I actually traveled across the world from Boston, Massachusetts to Istanbul, Turkey to Dr. Sinek's Hair Hospital and got an FUE hair transplant and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. So I really wanted to set the tone with that first must know that a hair transplant can work. It can be successful. I am walking proof of that success. So if you're questioning the actual capabilities of the surgery, don't question it anymore. It's possible you can get a hair transplant and get your hair back. This was me before, this is me now. Exactly, proof. Now your must know number two, it gets worse before it gets better. And that is something that can scare the living hell out of you if you don't know. You are gonna be going through a shedding phase after the surgery, which means a month after the surgery, you're actually gonna have all of those transplanted grafts, about 95% of them, fall out. You're gonna be losing your hair again and at a probably larger scale than you were before. So don't freak out because that is supposed to happen. The transplanted grafts fall out and then they regrow. So that shedding phase, it is pretty nasty. It gets worse, but you have to know it gets better. So that's just something you have to know about a hair transplant, that if you are in a certain situation that it's not necessarily terrible at this point in time, it's not receding too much, but you still wanna do something about it and get ahead of it, you get a hair transplant now. After you get that hair transplant, it's gonna be looking worse than it did before, but I assure you it will grow. And now your must know number three, it takes at least six months for your hair to actually start growing in and seeing the results that make you feel more confident. So you're going into the hair procedure before you get that surgery, you're starting to lose your hair, you're feeling all discouraged, you get the hair transplant, your hopes are high, it actually looks better right after the hair transplant, like everything's short, lined up, it's filled in, so you're like, nice. <laughs> and then it falls out. And then it takes months to grow back in. So you have to wait six months after you get your hair transplant to be confidently walking around with a thicker head of hair again. And some people, it literally can take up to a year before these results really start showing. It is a waiting game, but it is well worth it. And you really have to be mentally prepared for that period of looking worse after your hair transplant for literally like six months, potentially longer than you did before your hair transplant. And you got the hair transplant to look better. So it is a frustrating waiting game, but again, it is so worth it. And once you hit that six month mark, that confidence starts coming in. And then each month it gets more and more of a confident feeling because you have more and more hair. And at that year point, most people are gonna have that full head of hair, 12 to 15 months, that full head of hair. And it's just such an incredible feeling, especially when you were going through that recession phase beforehand. It's like, a Finally, I went through all of this and now I'm rock and flow again. I'm feeling younger. I'm feeling so much happier. It's just like fitness. You gotta trust the process. And now onto our must know number four, the transplanted areas do last forever. So I often get questions of, do you need to get another hair transplant? Is it permanent? Yes, the transplanted area is permanent. So your hair transplant will last forever in a sense. And I say in a sense, because the areas that weren't transplanted can still recede. And that's why you have to be careful going too young. Meaning if you go too young and there's other areas of your hair that haven't started to recede yet, you could get a hair transplant covering the areas that already are receding, not knowing that there's other areas of your head that are going to recede. And that's why you potentially could need another hair transplant. But you're not gonna need another hair transplant on the areas that you got the hair transplant for. 
So that's a very common misconception. It is a permanent procedure and most clinics do do genetic testing to cover more ground than what's already happening to prepare for that potential further recession. But depending how young you are or how far along you are in that hair recession process, there are factors that are unpredictable where you could recede in other areas that necessarily weren't planned for or it was too early to even plan for those areas. So that is a situation where those areas could start to recede and you would need to get a hair transplant to fill in those areas. But in most cases and from the research I've been finding, the average person doesn't need to do a follow-up hair transplant. They are going at a point where the hair is at a recession point where the clinic is able to determine what area or amount of the area is receding and potentially could further recede and they transplant that entire area to cover up that potential scenario of further recession that wasn't covered from the surgery. It's another one of those factors that comes down to how good of a surgeon are you going to? How good is that clinic taking care of you? Are they doing detailed pre-op to make sure everything is covered and handled for you? Those are obviously scenarios that you need to do your research on and trust the place you're going to get the surgery done for you. So if that is one of your doubts that if you get a hair transplant, you're just gonna need to keep getting another hair transplant or keep doing follow-up methods to keep your hair, that is actually not the case. Your hair transplant is permanent, so you can rest assured there. And let's wrap it up with your must know number five, which is don't be afraid to travel. I would recommend anyone in the US to leave the US to do the surgery. And I say that because you save a ton of money for arguably an even better service. Turkey is actually known for being number one in the world for hair transplants. The US isn't even in the top 10, and we're talking thousands of dollars of a difference in the surgery as well. Along with Turkey, for example, they have accommodation packages that include travel and your stay in luxury hotels, along with transportation back and forth from the clinic. Like they hook you up over there. And I'm lucky as hell, I got sponsored for my opportunity to get the hair transplant. So I did get my surgery for free. So no questions there, I got my surgery for free. But if you are getting it and you have to pay for it, it's gonna be two to $10,000 when you go to Turkey versus in the US, it's gonna be 20 to 40 thousand dollars and you're most likely not going to be getting nearly as good of a job or treatment in the u.s as you would in turkey they treat you incredibly well there from my experience like seriously i recommend dr cynic again and again and again because i was just so happy with my experience and i'm just so much happier from the outcome of the actual procedure getting a hair transplant was truly a life-changing experience for me so again back to the must know number five please trust me when i say don't be afraid to travel there are many countries that do an incredible job with hair transplants turkey again is number one they are most known for their hair transplants. The US isn't even in that top 10. So be careful where you go, make sure you trust the source. And if you are gonna be traveling far for your surgery, take the absolute most advantage of it because you get to travel and have fun too. So do your research and know that traveling, even internationally traveling for your hair surgery can potentially save you thousands and thousands of dollars. And now let's recap real quick, your number one must know, hair transplants can work. You can get your hair back. I'm living proof. Number two, it gets worse before it gets better. You have to know and be aware that you're gonna be going through a shedding stage after your hair transplant. So those transplant grafts will fall out before they regrow. And then number three, it takes at least six months for those results really to start coming in and show and for you to start feeling confident again. Again, it gets worse before it gets better and it takes months before it gets better, but it's well worth the wait. And then number four, your transplanted hair is permanent. It lasts forever. So you're not gonna need another hair transplant. Only if other areas of your head start to recede would you need to get another hair transplant. But that's not the transplanted areas. Keep that in mind. Your transplanted areas will not recede again. And number five, don't be afraid to travel. The US is incredibly expensive. If you do live in the US, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you travel out of the US to get your hair transplant. Turkey is known as number one in the world for hair transplants. You will save again thousands of dollars along with getting accommodation packages like travel, stay, and transportation included. So make it easy on yourself and have the best experience possible while being able to do it for as little money as possible. Save yourself some money while you get yourself new flow. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and it can help you in your decision making and whether or not you pursue getting a hair transplant for yourself. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and click that notification bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss new video uploads for me. And before I end this video, shout out to Dr. Cynic. They have sponsored this video for me. They've also launched their products in the US so you can now get the Dr. Cynic hair products shipped from their Cynic clinic in Turkey all the way to the US. Anywhere in the world, they can hook you up now with their products so you don't only have to go to them for your hair transplant, they can also help you back at home with your products and your upkeep of your hair. And let's quickly run through some of those products so you can check them out. 
We got Dr. Cynic Specialized Hair Shampoo, Soothing Foam, Aloe Vera Gel, Saw Palmetto, High Potency Biotin, Multivitamins, and more to help you get the best results possible. Click the link in the description or first pin comment for Dr. Cynic. All right, that's all for today, aliens. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment. Let's have a discussion about what you think about a hair transplant or any questions you may have for me. I'll be making more videos on the process. And if you haven't seen them yet, check out my entire journey of my hair transplant right before the surgery, a whole year after the surgery, my entire transformation. I have it all documented on my YouTube channel. They're in an organized playlist. You can follow along right for an entire year of my hair gains. Check it out, aliens. And I thank you so much as always for your support. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah,